Yes, get in there, Villa fans. Sheffield United nil, Aston Villa five. A completely utter dominant performance from Aston Villa. Just what we needed. It was absolutely incredible to see us bounce back with this level of performance. It was full of control, full of determination, full of skill, full of beautiful assists, top clinical finishing of the highest order. And Aston Villa were in cruise control by the end of that game. And it was just massive that we bounced back with this level of domination. It's what we all wanted. It's what was needed. It's what we've known that this squad is capable of. But it felt like the determination, the desire, the mentality was right from the very, very first whistle. And I'm just absolutely buzzing because, you know, we'll probably have some people saying, oh, it's Sheffield United, we're expected to beat them. Doesn't matter. Like, like I say on all match previews that every opposition poses its own sort of permutation per game. And the most important thing for Villa was that we went into this game with the right application to get back on track. You know, you look at Arsenal around Christmas time, they had a five-game spell. You've got City, they've had a bad spell. And we'd gone through our bad spell, but it was important that we, we nip it as quick as we can and we put in a performance that can galvanise us and lead us into the next few games. And that's what we've done. And we've delivered with five-star quality, absolute quality. So we're back on track now. Um, and that's massively important. We go back now and have a little look at the league table. Um, the league table now, Aston Villa currently back in fourth, five goals in front of Tottenham, who dropped points today. Uh, so 46 points, level on points with Arsenal, level on points with City, albeit City have got two games and Arsenal play tomorrow. So the bigger picture there now looks a lot better for Aston Villa. And back in that mix, get rid of that little blip now and just get that mentality growing. There are so many good performances from players that started to players that came off the bench. You know, they all had really good roles. In the performance today, Irabunan came on and got some much-needed minutes. We have saw Rodgers come on, Ramsey, Cash came on as well. So these players all came on and had a good impact to the game as well. But first of all, lineup for Munai, absolutely spot on. It was the lineup that I wanted. You know, I think when we're going with Concert at right back, I prefer it. I've got to say I prefer it. It gives us more control, more stability. The, the team just looks more comfortable when we're playing with a centre half at right back. And Carlos back in, long laid a brilliant game. And Tielemans up top, pressing. You know, we've seen him do this performance so many times already in Europe and in the Premier League. He was exquisite at times. And yeah, it was just loads better. Loads better. The energy, the rhythm, the control, the aggression, the desire. The finishing, the quality, it was all there. It was all there. It was what we all wanted to see. You could see from Unai giving it the big one. Every goal Unai was going in running. You can tell that. You can tell that it's bothered him. You know, even before the game, like just before kickoff, he was there, weren't he? Zoning in. Did anyone see Unai before the game? He was just sat there, like zoned in. And I was thinking, I fear for Sheffield here because. The reaction was fantastic, but Sheffield started well. Uh, Bereton Diaz got in behind Conza, and I was thinking, oh, God, here we go. What's going on here? And he, and he worked. He worked Martinez well. Um, but then after that, it was just all Villa in cruise control. And, you know, the first goal, ball over the top. Watkins through, lobs the keeper, bounces out. But you know what I loved about that goal from McGinn? The desire to get there. The, the, the hunger to get there. When you start breaking down goals and seeing like what happened in a goal, McGinn, first to react, the desire to stick that in, you know, showcase the performance. And that McGinn goal set the tone for Aston Villa, all about 
locking in and that desire. Second goal, I have to remember these because there's quite a few goals. Second goal, right, was all about Douglas Louise. And I'm not talking about the assist. Douglas Louise defending the Sheffield United attack, taking up the key position at the edge of the box, cut the cross out, broke for Aston Villa, the ball outside of the foot to Watkins, and that finish is exquisite. You know, the cross is absolute. Well, the, the through ball from Luis is absolutely remarkable. You know, that is top, top, world-class level assist on the outside of the foot. It found Watkins under pressure. You know, the defender was sort of like harassing him, trying to get in front of him. But the finish from Watkins was just absolutely brilliant. Um, next goal, we've got Bailey. Cut inside, he'd already showed them once what he could do. Narrowly missed, cut inside, 3-0. What a finish from Bailey. Fourth one, again, Tielemans had already showed them what he was about. I think it was cleared off the line, wasn't it? Or it went close. And then Tielemans, banger. He's been he's been winding up for that banger all season. And, you know, that one week, hit the bar, bounced down, went back in. Absolutely loved it. 4-0 to Aston Villa. Tielemans, quality. And then the 5 0 goal, great work again from Bailey to, to keep that ball in, to retrieve and win that ball. The assist from Watkins, you know, goal contributions from Watkins, top quality. And then a Moreno volley at the back post, absolutely brilliant. But another remarkable thing that I want to talk about, I was just thinking clean sheet, clean sheet, clean sheet. I want this clean sheet. Um, and they scored an offside goal. Look, offside. His, his head was offside, weren't it? Um, so I was like, it, it's got to be chalked off here. I don't know what they were looking at for so long. And I'm just buzzing. We've got the clean sheet, you know, scored five goals, kept a clean sheet. Absolutely brilliant performance from Villa. You know, great to see a and come on. Um, Rogers come on as well. So absolutely loved it. Hearing the commentators, there's a 77% chance that fifth gets Champions League football this season as well, which is great. Uh, so, all round, so, so happy. Uh, what we're going to do now, player ratings, I'm going to run through all the players and we're going to put them in uh, the category that they deserve to go into. So, Martinez was absolutely class for me. You know, didn't have much to do with those two point blank saves that he made to keep it like 5-0, do you know what I mean? To keep it 5-0, absolutely brilliant. And, you know, those saves were, were absolutely brilliant. Um, I thought Consa was class as well. Um, he went off, I think it was a bit more of a precaution, uh, but his defending was brilliant. Could have had two goals, couldn't he? You know, that one, I think the first half when he jinked in and had that shot and then he had the header as well and then he came off. So Consa I thought was brilliant. Um, I'll run through it in um, sort of match order. Douglas Louise, absolutely Class came off half time. I think that was a precaution as well. You know, like I say, that that second goal to retrieve it at the edge of the box to play that crossing with the outside of his foot. Oh, majestic, majestic! I know what I'm going to be watching all weekend. These goals, uh, yeah, absolutely class. Kamara, brilliant screening, defensive work, unbelievable. We'll go McGinn, quality, desire. Um, I thought he was really good. Watkins is my man of the match. Absolutely unplayable today. Unplayable. The press, the running over the top, the you know the the clinical finishing, the vision. Those runs were unplayable. That they, they couldn't get anywhere near Ollie Watkins. He was scintillating. He was that good, Ollie Watkins. Absolutely fantastic he was. Moreno, again, class. I mean, I don't think many are going below class, but his touches, his dribbling, his coming inside was brilliant, I thought. His confidence was great. Desire to get on that back post. Quality. Uh, Unai, absolutely class as well. You know, we wanted that reaction. We brought the reaction. First class from Unai. Uh, so Uno is going in class. Carlos, Colossus, brilliant. Tielemans, unbelievable. His pressing from the front was great. We saw his passing range. Top, top quality performance. 
from Yuri Tielemans. I thought he was outstanding um, and, and more like it. We'll go long late class as well. Cut out one of those chances in the second half. I thought he was great. Um, it's hard to score some of these. So we'll go, we'll go borderline. I thought um Rogers didn't do too much. Here we go. Here we go. Borderline player of the match for me would be Leon Bailey. Such a threat. Literally. He's dynamite. He's dynamite. And he's not even just like breaking past players, and you're like, that player's outstanding. His defensive work is great. His positional play is brilliant. His understanding of his role in this team is top quality. Leon Bailey, oh my God, he's absolutely unbelievable. Ramsey, I thought was 10 times better. 10 times better. Positional awareness was great. In the right zones that he should be playing in on that left-hand channel. Defensive work was brilliant. Passing was a lot better. Showing for the ball a lot more. Ten times better from Ramsey. Timmy Rabunan, I thought, was good. Um, got a little bit loose towards the end of the game, but it was great to see him in there. We saw some of his key traits with his tackling ability, with his positional awareness. I thought it was a great little cameo from him. Um, and then I think we've just got... Um, have we got any more to go through? Um, DRB. Like, loads better on that right-hand side. That one when he came in and did that little jinking run, showing for the ball. And I've, I've said it about... Um, we'll go Cash as well. Cash Cash was decent. Um, cash was decent as well. Um, but, yeah, loads better from the RB. You know, just what I want to see from him at times is just something simple. Come in midfield, retrieve the ball, little layoff, and go. And we were seeing that more as well. So. Every single player for Aston Villa played their part. It was a truly brilliant performance. Doesn't matter who it's against. It doesn't matter. We drew to them 1-1 one, one at home. So it doesn't matter. It was about Aston Villa today and putting in that marker and sort of coming back now with a bang. You know, when every fan from other clubs look at this now, they're going to be like, oh, Villa are back, aren't they? Villa are back fourth. Villa have just smashed Sheffield United. So Villa have got their mojo back. So confidence now. I want to see this riding through into the Chelsea game and going through into the Manchester United game. I don't mind that fans were moaning. I don't mind that fans were sort of annoyed at the performance on Tuesday because, in my opinion, it was needed because the fan base has got an expectation now and we've got a level that we expect this team to play at. And if we dip below this level, then we're not playing to our true ability. Yeah, some might say we're overachieving. I'm not buying that. We are there on merit. So when performances dip below this level, right, there's questions to be asked because it's below the level we expect and we've got to maintain our level. So we're back on track now. Let's keep this confidence. Let's just build now slowly and start getting a little bit of a run. And let's get on a run now and that will see us gain momentum and keep winning football matches. I actually think Tuesday might be a blessing. You know, we'd gone through a little bit of a tricky spell that was still getting results. And had we have just scraped by another couple of games, we may have prolonged that spell. The fact that we got beat well against Newcastle meant that we had to have this reaction and it can't happen again. So we've got to keep it going now and keep this level high and just keep winning games. So I'm absolutely over the moon with this performance because it was needed. You know, we've got everybody commenting in the comment section saying, I don't want us to just win. I want the performance. And we've had it all. So the fan base should be a lot happier now. Um, and I am absolutely buzzing about it. So thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, if you can smash a like on this episode, the views, like I said, on the um, 
Press conference reaction yesterday. We had the best month we'd ever had on this channel. We had over 800,000 views last month, which was absolutely remarkable. So I want to thank you all for supporting this channel. If you can smash a like, subscribe and comment your thoughts. It's massively appreciated from myself. Enjoy it. Let's go into Tuesday, Wednesday against Chelsea, up the villa.